How to redesign a Wix website. On your dashboard, make sure that the website you would like to redesign is opened. To do that, go to this button over here, which is beside the Wix logo. Select the site you want to redesign, especially if you have several sites under the same account. Once you select that site, you'll be redirected to its dashboard. Once you're on that specific website's dashboard, go to Design Site and click on it. It will cause the editor to open. So here on the editor is where we can do all of the redesigning. If you'd like to quickly edit a specific section of your website, click on that specific section and then click on the Quick Edit button. Usually the quick edit button will appear, but if not, then just look for the pencil icon, this one. It's also the same button. So let's click on it. And this side panel on the right will open. So this is where you can edit or redesign the specific content of the specific section that you chose. Here, you can change your section background. Say, for example, let's change it to a specific image. Or you can choose a specific color instead. You can go back by pressing this button. You can also change your strip background and edit the title edit the paragraph, edit what the button says as well. Basically, this is where you can edit every element contained in the specific section that you clicked on earlier. Once you're done editing that specific section, click on Save to make sure that the changes have been saved. Once you're done, you can now go ahead and close this side panel on the right. And if you'd like to edit just a single element, click on that element and some tools will appear. In this case, since we clicked on a text element, then these are the tools available for text elements. We can edit our text. Not only are we able to edit the content, but we can change our text's appearance as well. So you can do that by playing around with the tools contained here on this pop-up box. So you can change your style, font, font size, add effects to your text, change the setting for your character and line spacing, you can also, if this is what you want, then you can also enable vertical text. And then you have SEO and accessibility. I'm just going to close this, but before you do that, make sure to click on save. And I think it messed up our page over here. So I'm just gonna press Control plus Z on my keyboard to return it to normal. So since we um, tried to change our text here, let's talk about other elements, say for example, a button, and let's see what tools will appear. So let's click on our button, and now we can see even more options. So apart from changing our button's text, we can also change its layout its design. And if you scroll down, you'll be able to see different button designs that you can use. So choose from, choose from, choose from here. Apart from that, you can also add an animated effect. Choose an animation. And you can also insert a link. So if you click on that, this is where um, you input the link where you'd like your 
visitors to your site be sent to once they click on your button. Here you can choose whether you'd like the button to link to your page, to a specific web address, and if it's a web address, you can insert the link over here, and basically everything else. Once you're done, click on Done. Make sure to click on Save as well, just to be sure your changes have been saved. Now let's talk about the tools here on the sidebar. So you have plenty of useful tools here on the sidebar. But when it comes to redesigning a website, then there are only a few that we can talk about. So that is to add an individual element. So this is where you want to go to in case you'd like to add individual elements like a text element, an image element, a button element, and everything else. If you'd like to add entire sections instead, go to add a section. That's the second button on the sidebar. There are plenty of sections that you can choose from, but you can also create a blank section if that's what you want. In case there is a specific individual element or a specific um, section that you'd like to add to your website, it's very easy to add. So just simply click on that specific um, click on that specific element or section and then drag it onto your page. And it'll be added just like that. It's actually very easy. And if you'd like to delete a specific element or a specific section, click on that section and hit delete on your keyboard and it'll remove it for you. Next, let's talk about design tool or the de site design, site design. So here on the site design is where you can select your site theme. So this is your current theme over here. If you want to change it, click on change theme and select a theme that you like. You can go back by pressing this button, or I mean clicking this button. And apart from your theme, you can also change your color theme, text theme, page background, and you can apply transitions as well. They have the horizontal transition, vertical transition, crossfade, and out in. Next, let's talk about media. Media is also an important tool here on the sidebar. That's because this is where we can get our images from. Not only images, but videos and other files as well. If you would like to upload your files from your PC onto Wix, then you can just click on Upload Media. Once you click on it, this will show up. Click on Upload from Computer. Select the images you'd like to upload. And click on Open. So your images and other media files once uploaded to Wix will appear over here under the site files. By the way, apart from uploading your photos or images or videos from your PC to Wix, you also have other options and that is to connect your socials to Wix so that you'll be able to directly import your media from those social media accounts onto Wix. So just choose a specific social media platform you'd like to import images from. And once you click on it, Wix will ask you to sign up and ask permission for you to connect that account to Wix. If you're okay with that, then proceed. And then finally, we have the AI tools. So for the AI tools, this would be very useful, especially when you're having a hard time creating content or text 
text content for your web pages. So here they have the text creator, create content and place it anywhere you need it. Apart from text, uh, AI's Wix assistant will also be able to generate a section. So that's the section generator. Get a ready to use section with text and images for any page on your site. And by the way, it's very important that you not only redesign your web page, I mean your home page, but make sure to redesign other web pages within your website as well. It's very important to maintain a theme or in order to uh, build your own branding and identity. So your brand colors and themes should stay consistent um, in all of your web pages. So to be able to switch from one web page to another, you can click on this button under the Wix logo, or you can go to the Pages and Menu button on the sidebar. So over here, you'll be able to see all the different pages within our web page. So if you want to switch from one web page to another, click on a specific page, and the Wix editor will shortly open that page over here. And there it is. So once again, start redesigning your web page um, one by one until you finally finish redesigning everything. Don't forget to always click on save to save your changes. And if you're ready to publish your website, then you can go ahead and click on publish. And basically, that's all. We hope you found today's video of help somehow. If you did, check out our other Wix tutorial videos. And we look forward to seeing you again in the next video. Thanks so much for watching. You guys have a wonderful day.